I like putting it like this. Boom. Okay. You see that? Just like that. All I do is tie it up. Do what I gotta do over here. And uh, put it back. All I gotta do is cut it off, put it back. <clears throat> Anyways. Now let's go to the back of the alternator. Hey, okay. now let's go behind this. You could remove this um, filter if you want. Uh, that's if you want, but I ain't doing that. <clears throat> now let's disconnect these right here. Sometimes it's gonna be a bitch to come out. But put this to the side. Over here somewhere. Right there. Now let's uh go to the back okay this is a 10 mil right here for the positive positive terminal right here it's a 10 and you gotta take off these eights right here one and two because the bracket holding the some harnesses so that's we'll just take it off from here okay so let's take off the 10 so mine is a 12 not a 10 some people have 10 some people got 12 I'm the one with the 12, okay? Let's take it off. Boom. Pull it off. Put it to the side somewhere. I like putting the bolt back on there. You don't have to, but I do. Okay, now let's loosen these eights right here. Wrench, ratchet it. Your life will be a little bit easier. Okay, boom. Make sure you don't lose those eights. Put it somewhere. Now we gotta loosen these twelves right here. One. I like to just loosen this one and hang the bracket down. Then another one up there. So uh let's spray these up a little because they're too rusty. That's what happens when you live in New York. If you're in Cali, you have to deal with this shit. Okay, hey, once you loosen those up, if you don't have one of these, and you're a mechanic, you wow it. Best tool level. Okay, loosen this up right here just a little bit in the back. Okay, look at that. Split to the side like that. Okay. Now let's go down to this 14 bolt. It's right here. Let's loosen that up. And make sure you hold it at the same time because it's I mean it's gonna stay up because you know it's still it's on there, but <clears throat> just in case, hold it, loosen it, boom. Should be loose. Let's go in there. Once you loosen that, take the bolt out. Wiggle it. We're going to take it out from the bottom, so. so wiggle it. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. It goes downwards. You see that? Okay, there you go. You see it? There you go. Boom, boom. boom. So me this holes in the way. So let's. Move that shit out the way. Drop it. Also, don't forget, um, there's a connector on there. You have to take off the top one. Let me show you. This connector, if you see, right there, you gotta take off. Don't pull it down yet, all the way down, because you're gonna rip that shit off, and you don't wanna rip it off. So, if you could reach from the bottom and get it, I couldn't reach it. Uh, do it before uh, knock it down. But anyways, just take that off. So people take it out from the top. But it'll be better to take it from the bottom. But let's see how we looking. Okay, I'm gonna let it drop to the bottom. So I ain't trying to fuck up the condenser. Well, that is. Just drop it to the bottom. Make sure you remove the uh, the holes out the way before you drop it to the bottom. Uh, 
Oh, there you go. Dropped. There you have it. The alternator. Okay, got the new alternator. Now it's time to install this. Same way we took it out. Same way. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go under, put it up, put the bolts tight. Where you got the right alternator before you take before you uh, install it. Put them next to each other. See if it match. Okay. Before you put it up, make sure you put your connector on there. Put that on first, then try to put it up. Put the bolts on there. Okay. Once you, once you tighten your 12 up here and your two eights, you put this cover on here. Okay, and it's tighten these 12s, one and two, and the 14 on the top. Tighten those, and put your connectors on. Boom, boom. Let's do that right now, actually. This goes here. So, make sure it clicks in. Okay, boom. Now, let's tighten these 12s. Okay. Upstairs. Okay. Shoes tight. Now, um, let's put the belt back around the alternator. If your belt is not in good condition, make sure you change it. This one I just did last week, so mine is good. So I'm gonna snip it off, put it around the alternator. So, just like that. See, clean this up better than before. That shit was corroded as hell. Now, uh, let's put this belt back together. Let's tighten it. Okay, same thing. Pull up while you're doing it. Take out the pin. And, yeah. Okay. Go up, take out the pin, let go slowly, and there you go. That is all. Belt is tight. Okay, see? Nice and tight. Okay, so you tighten the belt. Now let's put on the fan and everything else that's here. Alright? Okay, let's put the fan on, make sure you put this bolt back. It's 10. Okay, once you tighten that, um, just put the connectors back on there. Connectors, if you break yours like mine, put all yours back, your plug, plug that, it's there, boom, boom, put this here, boom. I'm gonna have to zip tie this over here. All right, so I put a zip tie over here so it don't dangle over here. And you good, tighten over here. Put your uh, airbag sensor here, impact sensor. Two bolts, two tens, tighten those. Now let's put the hose back on there. You can tell the difference because you see how there's lines on here. It's lines over here too. So you can't get them confused. There's no way. No way. Okay. Boom and boom. Put this back over. Okay. This one. Now, uh, yeah, so let's put the reservoir here, the air boxes, and put some cooling in. Now it's how you replace an alternator on the Infiniti G35, G37 sedan. Mostly the same thing, HR. Make sure you bleed the system, 
take all the air out and she have heat and that is it if you have any questions comment below hit me on instagram Drew's mechanics and also if i helped you out give me a like and subscribe Later.